Hey all, Heber here. So we are taking out the Yahagi today and uh, I've done a few battles in this ship here lately and um, it's always been a favorite of mine at tier 4 and uh, it's still a good powerful ship. Um, this time I'm in a division with uh, Black Priest and Jaxt and um, we are on one of the the tier 4 maps down here and uh, there's 4 destroyers in this game and 4 cruisers so obviously that's uh, like a good game to be a cruiser in, especially if you have good AP, which this thing does. Um, you do have your speed boost, it's only 8%, it's not 20% like the French, so I'm not really sure what, how much of a boost it really is. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of like not useless, but it's ornamental at best. And uh, 12 kilometer torpedoes on Yahagi, and as you saw with the torpedo launcher before, the angles are uh, challenging to say the least. Uh, you need to show full broadside to get off those torps, so uh, be prepared for that. <laughs> and uh, you only have three turrets, and you only have a total of six guns, meaning that um, it's hard to get, you know big huge damage numbers out of the ship here without using your torpedoes. So uh, in that uh, respect, it's very similar to Atago. And uh, if you, you know, ignore the fact that it's a lot squishier than Atago, but for the tier, it's uh, pretty much as close as you get, I think. Uh, obviously, Atago has much better torpedo uh, firing uh, positions, and uh, you just have to forego that because it is tier 4, it's not tier 7 here. Uh, the AT is adequate. But uh, what's really good with this ship here is the AP. It's very, very nasty, uh, especially against these like really squishy cruisers like Omaha's and stuff like that, which you will meet down here at the uh, tier four. Uh, Kuma, Omaha, um, well, pretty much anything is uh, is so squishy that this AP here will uh, will grant you nice citadel counts. And uh, obviously the HG is useful against destroyers, and the reload is not too long it's not as long as Atago it's about uh, probably about half of Atago's reload meaning that uh, you're actually better at taking out destroyers than Atago is and uh, that helps a lot down here at uh, tier 4 because there's a lot of destroyers usually and uh, I obviously have an agile build on the ship here so my rudder is just around just under four seconds I believe something like that and uh, the ship can go more than 40 knots um, and with the speed boost, I think you can hit 42, 43, something like that. So for the tier, it's exceptionally fast and reasonably agile. It's not as agile as I would like it to be. Uh, I think Wargaming needs to cut a second off the rudder on this ship and then it would be, it would be pretty much perfect then. It's actually a bit disappointing to me that there isn't more opportunities to do um, Agile ships below tier 6 uh, Pretty much all you can do is with the destroyers basically and they are you know per definition already very agile So there's not much point like building into a super agile destroyer down here um, You're better off with concealment especially considering there's no uh, Radar cruisers to speak of unless you get up to uh, tier 5 and there's only one there with a 15 second radar So it's yeah, it's not really much of an issue. Uh, you also do have sonar on Yahagi and uh, obviously that is super useful <laughs> and uh, I actually think that uh, well cruisers without sonar I don't see much point in them to be honest um, which is a bit of a problem for some of the Italians uh, and that's also why my favorite Italian cruiser is the Gorizia because it has a sonar along with the rolling smoke. So anyway, we have this Farragut here and he is very close and of course we have the Wakeful on the other side so I have to be quick. I need to get this destroyer out of the way because they can catch me in a, you know, a torpedo crossfire. So it uh, looks like he's going for the ram there but we are able to surprise him with some torps. And uh, you get one guess as to where the Wakeful is hiding. Um, obviously he's sitting in the smoke there. And uh, he is trying to hit me with torpedoes, but uh, we'll just uh, give him a nasty surprise here because uh, I'm so close, I'll put full spread on my torpedoes here and uh, then I will just use my agility to dodge whatever 
comes my way while I line up that top shot there. And uh, as you can see, like with Agile Cruisers, and there goes the little Didi. With Agile Cruisers, you don't sit still in one spot and uh, like, you know, bow tank your way out of stuff like you would in a, in a Baltimore or a more traditional uh, build. You see here, I'm not standing still at any point. And uh, in here in the middle of the map, uh, because I don't really have anywhere else to go at the moment, I'm capping. I'm just going around in circles and then taking shots at whatever I can. Because uh, you have to stay top speed in Agile Cruisers and uh, you have to keep moving and you have to keep an eye on incoming shells like I'm doing there. Uh, those shells there were, I saw them a long time ago and I lined up my ship so I didn't get like broadsided there. And uh, we've got the cap now and pretty much got the reds confined to uh, the area around the sea uh, cap. So uh, Priest and Jax are going this way, so I think, okay, I'll go the, uh, the long way around the, uh, the island here to see if we can't catch them in a bit of a crossfire here. So uh, Yahagi is not for sale and you can't get it in pretty much any way, not that I'm aware of anyway. Uh, it was uh, a part of a campaign uh, a while ago now and the ship hasn't been on sale since and uh, I am, like I said before, I'm not really sure how you go about getting this ship if you want it uh, because it's not available and um, I suppose it'll be available again sometime soon perhaps maybe i don't know <laughs> um but uh, it's certainly a very very powerful ship and if you like agile cruisers and you like taking agile cruisers down to the lower tiers and taking everybody by surprise well then this is the ship for you um it is uh it is exactly what it excels at um because you can you can pop this play style on the ship and uh you'll pretty much just take everybody by surprise because like I said in the beginning there's there aren't really any agile ships at tier 4 other than destroyers and I mean destroyers are agile on any tier um, so having this build here allows you to play in a way that people just don't expect not down here at the at these low tiers here um, which is a good thing because uh, like it makes the game more interesting for you and it also uh, a little bit more you know unexpected for the opponents which is also a good thing <laughs> and just miss out on my crack in here to priest actually i think no it's not priest it's space monkey apparently but uh because i had that battleship on fire i was just waiting for it to burn out but such is life anyway i'm done in here now and uh, i'm going to head the long way around the island like i said and uh, then leave Priest and Jax to go to the right around the island here and uh, that way we should be able to catch this last ship here in a nasty nasty crossfire um, and obviously I'm going to be much faster than the others um, and uh, I am likely to catch this ship here first because he is steaming right towards me to get out of uh, the range of our battleship there that is slowly moving into open waters First, we have to sail around this uh, Solomon Islands island here, I guess. And um, as you can see, this ship is fast. It's especially very fast for a tier four cruiser, uh, going 38 knots here without any sort of boost or anything like that. And I'm turning and, you know, not going straight. And uh, he just pops up here for a second, the good Italian. And uh, that tells me that I'm going to meet him just around this, uh, this corner of the island here. So uh, obviously I changed to AP and uh, I'm just waiting uh, until I get him in my sights really. And then the reason I picked this video here <laughs> is that uh, kind of an interesting chase ensues here when uh, as soon as we uh, we see each other and uh, I think it's, it's quite fun. So uh, that's why I, I picked this video here. <laughs> So uh, he fires his fighter off, meaning that uh, he pretty much gives up his position to me. I know that he's five kilometers away and I know that he's coming around this corner. So uh, I'm obviously setting up so I'm not broadside and I'm expecting him to be broadside. And I am totally cheated out of a few citadels there. But uh, I do get my confederate 
And um, only at 42,000 damage actually, because there's only one battleship in this battle. And uh, of course we have to, you know, steer away from the torpedoes. And at the same time, don't give broadside, because that's what he was hoping I would do there. But uh, instead, we'll turn the tables on him and uh, give him a very nice citadel there. And uh, then I was just contemplating turning and torping him, but um, I know that he was probably going to citadel me then, so I changed my mind. And now he starts to run away, and um, <laughs> obviously he's going to fire torpedoes here, so uh, we're just going to prepare for that. And this is where the fast rudder comes in, because uh, there's no way you can pull that off in a traditional cruiser build. And uh, I should switch to HE, but I keep thinking that he might turn all the way around to try to hit me with torps on the other side. So that's why I keep uh, AP loaded. And <laughs> Priest is on the comms going like, oh, you shoot a HE, you shoot a HE. <laughs> and yeah, he's totally right. But in the event that he would turn around, I would much rather have AP loaded. Um, but now he is so low on health that even if he turns, I can take him out with HE. So uh, that's why I am now changing to HE. Um, because this is going to take forever. <laughs> Especially when you don't get any hits. And uh, during this chase here, I also just got my high caliber and just dodging those torpedoes as well. And I mean, that's the last uh, chance he's going to get there. So that's Yahagi for you people. One of my favorite ships, actually my the favorite ship at tier 4. And um, a good ship, not available, but uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you out there.